MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Toledo Mud Hens. It's baseball. It's the show. And, and it comes your way your next. Toledo Mud Hens. Jose Arena gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy really struggled last year. This season is going to be about a bounce back year. Real ugly ERA last year. He has a lot to prove to himself Please and go. to his teammates that he's a much better pitcher than he was last year. Ready now is Eric Mejia, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First offering on its way. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. First pitch, 8 05. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oosh, and we are in for some tough conditions tonight. 41 degrees at game time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Ready to deliver the one and two. And now look out as Ed runs in and gets him. And a very interesting start to this one. Well, there's no strategic reason to hit the leadoff man that I can think of. So now he's aboard with no outs to start the game. And that's not how you want to get your outing underway on the mound. Stepping in now, Emmanuel Rivera, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Just keeping him close. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late that action hurt. that just darts at the hit. last minute. They're so tough to get the oh. bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Daryl Collins, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. 
good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you got to get rid of it quick. Mejia, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. He's running. Pitch outside. The throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. Well, it's pretty frigid out there, and I don't know the science behind it, but it seems pretty difficult to get the full speed when it's this cold. Hard to say, but maybe that had a little bit to do with that caught stealing. The 2-1 home. Swing and a line drive. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. A full count. Three balls and two strikes. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move, and he makes the catch in the corner. So they go quietly here in this half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Chris Bubich is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year. And we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can. That time as they get him by a step for out number second. one. A chance now to take man. a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. They'll breeze through seven strong. Into the box now. Daniel Pinero. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, one and oh. One out, nobody on. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One one. Two ball, one strike. Yeah. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Pena is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting third, the left fielder, number 20. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Now here's the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. 
Collins is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Second inning set to go, and next it'll be the fleet-footed first Leading baseman, Nick Omaha. Prado. The first baseman, Nick Prado. And now pitch on the way. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. and oh, It's time to start getting locked in. Three oh. and oh now. Now here it comes. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, three and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Another full count pitch home. In there, and their first hit of the season is going to be for extra bases. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball that right pitch. over the heart of the plate. The right His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts yeah. this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Next to hit is Tyler Gentry, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. He's set. Here it comes. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And there's one down now. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And one of the main pieces on this team today is the guy playing shortstop. A ton of range, the ability to go in the hole, set that back foot with a strong arm over the first base. And I know it's going to upset the second baseman and the third baseman, but at the end of the day, the shortstop is and always will be the captain of the year. MJ Melendez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. As a look, now the pitch. Too much bite on the sinker and he's behind 2 and 0 now. Great situation to be up at the plate right now, but if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Jason Guzman is on deck. And a good comeback there. It's 3 and 1.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. Almost looks semi-intentional there. The that bad is news that is that there are two men on base. Shot. The good news is that an inning ending double play is now in order. So now here is Jason Guzman looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Set and the pitch. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Here comes the 0 1. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Way outside. One and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The next one, two pitch. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Right to him. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. Next to stand in is Jimmy Govern. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He set now the pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pitch misses low, the throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Trying to move into scoring position with two away, but not to be as we get another look. Back with more on opening day after this. So here's the cleanup hitter, number six. He readies for his first plate appearance. Now the pitch. Nope. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. Now one and oh. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. The 1 1. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Needed that one to be a few Batting feet higher, good. and the leadoff the man is gone man. to start the home Everywhere. second. All right, here's how the visitors well, are lining up today. Dead. And surprisingly, today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm. But I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. So now to the plate, Adeline Rodriguez, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The 1-0. Outside, that's the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Now the 2 1 pitch. Runs a bit inside for a ball. The 
3-1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup, or do you stay with the heater? One out, nobody on. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting six. Now it's a play. Cody baseman. Clemens will Cody. try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on the way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And it's up to a three, two, full count now. When you get yourself to a three, one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Two out, nobody on. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough fielder. pitches and got a walk. Yeah. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Up next, Daz Cameron. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Clemens, the runner at first with two gone. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. From the stretch. Fastball, and it's strike three called. Oh, that looked inside, but instead it's the third out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And standing Lead in off, is the DH, Jimmy Govern. The designated hitter, Jimmy Govern. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. A throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting up. The center fielder, Eric Pena. Digging in next, Eric Pena. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Hats off to that one. 
digging in, the switch hitter, Eric Makia, hit by a pitch last time, perhaps looking for a little payback. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Now the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. The 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Bases are empty here with two men out. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Now it'll be Zach Short as we move on to the bottom of inning number the three. Buttons, the designated hitter. Zach. First offering on its Short. way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Mejia stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Batting nuts. The catcher. Grayson. Schreiner. So the next to bat will be Grayson Greiner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball up there. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Now the pitch. To short, hit hard, scooped up. On to first, and there were two down. The batter number 10. Shortstop. Cole Peterson. Stepping in next, Cole Peterson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Now the 2 0. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. They haven't been able to register now a batting. hit against this Third guy, baseman. but at least they have a there base runner here. We'll see if that Good leads to arrow. something. So here is Daniel Pinero. He flew out in his last A.B. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. 
You know the defense wants that play back. They had him totally picked off when he took off early, but they just couldn't finish him off. We'll see if that comes back to bite him here. From the stretch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That evens it up one and one. One and one. Here it is. Line towards center field. That's a base hit, their first of the game. The tying run is into score from second. It's one to one. You know, D-Row, there are certain hitters that just love Number to come 20. up and clutch two out RBI situations, and this guy certainly is one of those guys. Yeah, they're able to slow the moment down. It's not for everybody. This guy has ice water in his veins consistently coming through in big spots. Nice job right there to tie this one up. Up next. Swung on and missed. One and one. one, and one. Panero leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he fouls this one off. One, two. Nope. That's well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Two-two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. A swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. We played three full, all even now at 1-1. All set for the start of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Emmanuel Rivera. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. The 0-1. That's a ball. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. And he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first and there's out number one. Now back left field. And now in the box, Daryl Collins flew out in his only at bat so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hey. 
cue shot here out towards short. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. The first Boy, there's a quality infield base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays, at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. A pitch out. The throw. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. Runner at second here with one man out. Pickoff move to second, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone yeah I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times the 2 0 -oh. Tyler Gentry is on deck one out and a runner on second base Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Set and the payoff pitch. Slider strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little no in the pitcher's favor, but like it wasn't outrageous. Oh. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. dirt and now let's see the throw will go to third and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it he was there and now he's only 90 feet away ready with the 2-0 MJ Melendez would be next. Three balls, no strikes. Three and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. pitch a little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first here's the payoff pitch popped him up Clemens calls for it and he makes the play to end the inning so no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on on now to the bottom half of inning number four all tied at one and one Stepping in once again is number six. 0 for Leading 1 for him here in this one. Hands. The right fielder. Get Here's go. the first pitch. Cabrera. And that misses for ball one. The 
the 1-0. Oh, that's too high. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Here's a pop-up now. Rivera has room in foul territory. One out. Now that's exactly the what they wanted out of that pitch up in the way. zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Standing in now, Adderlin Rodriguez. And he'll bounce one on the ground to first. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. The second baseman. Cody. Clemens. And now here is Cody Clemens. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. And now pitch on the way. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. All tied at one and one. Stepping up is MJ Melendez. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The catcher, MJ Melendez. Here's the first pitch to him. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. 2-0 pitch on the way. 3-0 now. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Next to dig in, Jason Guzman reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And they don't need anything special from him right here. They need to find a way to just move that runner up 90 feet. Don't be shocked if the sack bunk gets laid down. No balls in one strike. On its way is pitch number 75. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate now, Jimmy Govern tapped out in front of home. And that's the second out. Now battle the center fielder, Eric Pena. Next up, Eric Pena, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set. Here it comes. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up, all tied at one and one. 
Now to the plate, Daz Cameron. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Yeah. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. That's Too high to start the inning. It's 1-0. A strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. One and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. Now back. The Into the box. Hitter. Zach Short. Zach. Short. First pitch of the A.B. now. Yeah. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1-1. Great set. Griner. Next, it'll be Grayson Griner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The wind up and the 0 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. Your Alex Lang please. is out from the bullpen Alex. as he'll get his first work of the season here Number on opening 57. night. Alex Lang. New inning set to get underway, and Leading standing in is the switch hitting second, second baseman, baseman, Eric Mejia. Eric. Mejia. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, that's it. Just missed with the 2-2 two, two count, and it runs full now. Tough pitch nope. to lay off, but ball he did, four. and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Well, he's a youngster. You can now see that. he's a little Perfect. nervous out there. Emmanuel. Some people call it butterflies, Rivera. but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. And stepping in, Emmanuel Rivera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he pours this one into the letters 0 and 1. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. 
That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Two balls and two strikes now. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and now trying bad. to protect before the, the ball field. even left the pitcher's yeah, hand. That pitch oh. wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box, Daryl Collins. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Pitch out, nothing doing. Mejia, base runner at first with one out. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and oh. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. They won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike three and one now. From the belt, the pitch, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now battle. The first baseman. Nick Prado. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Nick Prado. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now the first pitch. As he'll fall behind here as he goes oh, after a fastball that might have been out of the zone. It's strike one. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Aye. He's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Here comes the one-two. Misses, ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Tyler Gentry lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Cole Peterson. Not shortstop. Cole Peterson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike.
in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. In tight. Look out. That one sends him to the deck. It's ball three. Daniel Panero waits on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can the afford to do is walk the leadoff ball. hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Now at the plate, here is Daniel Panero. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. He's set, and the pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Outside, 3-0 now. Kristen Stewart waits on deck. In there, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing, three and two now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. 